Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a collective makeup haul. I honestly can't remember the last time I filmed a haul. I have so much new makeup and also so many new clothes. So one of my next few videos will be a clothing and try on haul. But for today I was like, I'll just do the makeup haul. I actually have a feeling this isn't everything because I've just lost track over the last like month or two, but I have a lot, so let's just get into the video. So I have two literally full tubs of makeup. It's ridiculous, but a lot of it's just like the same brands. I went to a Maybelline event and they gave me a bunch of things. So the very first thing they gave me were all of their new, uh, their creamy matte lipsticks. So I have all eight shades. I'm going to do a review and swatch video of this hopefully next week so if you guys want to see that video on the creamy matte lipsticks please give this video a thumbs up so i know to do it but i literally am in love with these they also brought out some color blurs which are also like matte type lipsticks i was thinking of doing a review and swatch on these as well so if you guys want to see either of those please just like this video and you can comment down below if you like your preference whether you want the cream mattes or whether you want ah, the color blur but they're really cool. I then went out and picked up the Velour Lips. This is like the mini travel set right here. Um, I haven't really worn any of the shades yet. I swatched them and they weren't too bad. But there's a few that I don't really like that much. But yeah, I just picked up the Velour mini set because I thought they were really cute. From Maybelline, I also have these two purple lipsticks. They're the... What are these called? Um... The Elixir Color Sensationals. As you guys know, purple lipstick is my fave, so I had to pick up these two purple ones. Oh, here's another one of those creamy mattes. <laughs> then from L'Oreal, there's literally way too many to show you, but they gave me a bunch of their lip glosses to try ooh, to try out. Um, I really like a few of these shades. Excuse me, motorbike. I really like a few of these shades, but I obviously haven't tried all of them. There's probably like 15 or so in here. L'Oreal also came out with these, um, I don't know what they're called. These lipsticks, I'm not sure what they're called, but they're kind of like spongy, so you twist the top off, and then it's like a sponge applicator. They're pretty cool. So they're just swatched like that. I would obviously show you individual shades, but it would take me forever to go through every single lipstick that I just showed you. But there's like 30 lipsticks sitting down there right now. <laughs> and then for the other box, there are two Maybelline mascaras here. So the first one is the Lash, Lash Sensational. This is their new one, so they've changed the formula with the old one, which I love the old one, so I'm sure I'll love this one as well. And then the Maybelline... Go Colossal Extreme. I've heard so many awesome things about this, so I'm really excited to open up this one. Following on with other mascaras, I also have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Little Mini Mascara, um, and then I also have the new Maybelline False Lash Superstar. I didn't really like this, to be honest, so if you're looking for a new mascara, I wouldn't really highly recommend this one. I just didn't think it really did that much to my lashes, but it's I'm sure it's different for everybody, so if you've tried this and you like it, then please let me know. I don't even think it's released yet, so that's pretty silly of me to say. I think it releases in Feb, so I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> and I have the Superstay Better Skin um, Powder Foundation in the color Sand Sable. This is the shade that I am in with concealer and all that kind of stuff. I have yet to open this and give it a go, but I'm excited to test this one out. I also have a Maybelline Master Pro Master Brow Pro Palette in the color Soft Brown. Again, yet to try this. I have so many brow products right now. And one of them is in here, and I'm obsessed with it. So I haven't opened this yet, but I will very soon. And the brow product that I've been obsessed with is the Chi Chi Taupe Brow Pomade. Literally, like, uh, it's so good. I think it matches my eyebrows pretty well. Like, that's, that's like matching my roots, right? Right? <laughs> and some more lipsticks. This one's by Chi Chi, and it is in the shade Lady Bump. My friend actually sent this to me for my birthday. So thank you, Jess, if you're watching this. It's just a dark purple shade. She knows me so well. And then another friend sent me the Rimmel Moisture Renew in Dark Night Wooler Water Loops, which is also another dark purple. Every single person knows me so well. And it's that one right there. Another friend, <laughs> the one that sent me the purple, the first purple lipstick also sent me this lipstick, and it is in the shade Hot Plum. It's by Maybelline. And it is like a light pinky purpley shade. 
just looks like that. And the last lipstick that she sent me is a bold matte Maybelline Color Sensational and it is in the shade Matte One, I think. It's like a really nice coral shade. So perfect for the summer weather. I then have two primers which were featured in my 2015 favorites because I love them that much. One is the Infallible Mattifying Base. I really hope you guys picked it up. So many of you were commenting saying you were going to. If you did pick it up, please let me know how you go with it. And then the L'Oreal Lumi Magique. This is perfect for people with dry skin, perfect for people with oily skin. Bam. The two foundations that I've picked up is also the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation. I really love this foundation, especially because I have oily skin, so it's awesome for people with oily skin. And then the L'Oreal True Matte Foundation. This is my favorite Holy Grail foundation right now. I can't, like, I can't deal with how good of coverage it has. I have another mascara, which is the L'Oreal Intensa Flash Lash Wings Mascara. This is my favorite mascara to date. I love it. I don't want to repurchase it because it costs like $30, but I will have to get my hands on this again because it was so good. Also picked up some Ardell Lash Grip Eyelash Adhesive. This stuff's amazing. I never tried it before, so I thought I would get it when I got some new eyelashes like a month ago or so. And I really, really love this. It just makes your eyelashes just glue to your... Or your false lashes glue to your real eyelashes. Like, they don't move. It's awesome. Another thing from L'Oreal is the... Artist Brow Pumper. This stuff is amazeballs. You need to get your hands on it. It's seriously so, so good. All right, we're down to our last few products. Again from Maybelline, they brought out some new color tattoos. So one is in the shade Dramatic Black, which is literally just a black color tattoo. The other one is in the shade Vintage Plum, which I find so pretty. It's a nice, like, purpley shade. And then there's Creamy Beige, which is just what it states, so just a beige colour. I haven't opened any of these to try them out, but I literally own every other colour tattoo that they have bought out, and I love them all, so I'm sure that I will love these just as much. And from L'Oreal, I have their Glam, Bro Glam Bronze like duo, like one of them's a highlighter and one of them's a bronze. I'm not a big fan of the bronzer just because I think it's a little bit... Oh my god! It comes with a mirror! I've had this product for like two months and I only just realized there's a mirror in there. That is the sickest thing ever. But yeah, I don't really like the bronzer too much. I think it's a little warm, but I guess that's what bronzers are for. Like it's not like a contour shade. It's more of just like an all-around bronzer shade. But I really like the highlight one. That's pretty cool. I then have the Savvy Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I don't know what it's called. Oh, in Light Natural. It's kind of like a dupe for the Naked Basics palette, although obviously the Naked Basics palette would be a better quality, but I really like this. I've used it a few times since getting it, and I really like the colors in it, and it's really good pigmentation for Savvy. Savvy actually is like Essence where, I mean, they kind of hit and miss with some products, but a lot of their products are really good for the price, so I recommend this one if you're on a tighter budget. Speaking of Essence, the last thing I have to show you is the Essence I Love Nude Eyeshadow in my favorite Toping. This is the perfect shade for in the crease as like a transition color and that kind of thing. I love this. Essence do so well with their eyeshadows. I love every single eyeshadow that I've tried from Essence. So this was a great purchase. I think that is all that I have to show you. There is a lot of stuff, but a lot of the stuff I got from the Maybelline and L'Oreal events that I was invited to, so that's why a lot of the stuff is from them. Though I already bought a few of their products before actually receiving them, so it's kind of like a mix of what I bought and what I was given. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the down bar what your favorite product was that I bought. If you've tried any of, any of these products before, if you're excited for the new releases. Like, these creamy matte lipsticks are seriously, they're amazing. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Hopefully.